it's now um, early March. Bought this van a year ago. I haven't done anything with it. Luckily for me, my old mate Cole has um, let me park it on his bit of land. Um, you know, huge, done me a huge favour. So if you ever need a bike, you know, he's a Sherco dealer. Um, get yourself down to Cole's in Nebworth. He'll always sort you out. Um, he's top bloke. So, anyway, the Vario. Today, um, it's just about going to have a look at it, see um, what sort of work's involved, um, and plan it out a little bit and decide what to do. There's some racking in the back that needs clearing out, so I'll probably get that done and then um, start pulling the floor up and just see how bad the, um, the rust is. is. Um, I know, I've got it through the MOT, so it is. It is um, uh, we know it's a decent van and um, but there's lots of work to do and you'll see. Whenever you unassemble something, try and understand how it was assembled in the first place. I see too many people not understanding how things were built, and then when they come to unbuild them, they just smash it in the and they just do it the same way you build it, just do it in the opposite order. Oops. Yeah, we've got all this stuff out, it's really, you can see how big it is. It's lovely to see the space we've got available to start planning and um, seeing what we can put away. buying this van is the um, just the sheer size in here so this van is six foot two high actually six foot four high six foot two wide is wide as point and then five meters long in fact the van all the way to the back of these front seats is five meters so we've got a lovely big area um, uh, five metres to the cab, we've got a lovely big area to make this a wicked little camper. This, um, Helen's going to love it, She's absolutely love it. It's where the tailgate come on. A little bit rusty. We'll get it to work. 